What's going on? Yeah, we're going to do the first demo of iPixie doing a branch cache download of a uh, WinP file. Oh. If it all goes well. It's a world first, then. It's a world first, yes. So awesome. what you're looking at is three machines. My client machine that I'm going to boot, my actual server that's going to host the content, and my peer machine. Currently, it's all a little bit of hard-coded, the path, so that's why... I have to only show one machine because that's where all we're going to get the data from. Uh huh. We've got Wireshark running on that one, message analyzer on this one. Don't ask me why. So we're going to kick off the capturing of HTTP traffic from the server. Mm -hmm. and then we're going to, the Wireshark is already running, so we're going to kick off and try to do a pixie boot here. And Booting off a WDS server, who's then giving out our iPixie bootloader. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure I got networking. Then I'm going to do a download of my HTTP content from the server. And give it a name and the name that it's going to have when it's downloaded. Mm -hmm. So when I press enter here, you should start seeing the download. So and she's going to go to the server first. Yes. Get so some the content gonna information. Pick it up, and then after it's been picked up, there will be a slight delay, and then it's, this one's going to start going. Mm -hmm. So let's see if it does it. Well, not why Shark was faster. Uh, yeah, what this a was actually the first one that came in. You can yeah, see yep. it came in to get the actual good file and yep. if you go down here you will see the good old uh, accept encoding which peer is, is listed beautiful so it has started the download and if you look to the right you can see a lot of traffic's going on we'll still have a little yeah. bit of nippling to do all the black ones are recent so yeah it's not as good as it needs to be but that's all local traffic that's the yeah. main thing so if I then pass my machine, you should be able to see the client then starts going back to the server to get the content, mm. which it does. If it's a proper branch cacher, that's yeah. what it should do. That's what, and that's there what it goes. does. And yeah. Back to the server. Likewise, if a good branch cacher sees content that comes back online at any time, mm -hmm. the, the download from that should stop, and you should be able to see yeah. that the machine has now back gone back to the same old machine. So it's got a little bit from the server, most from the peer, a bit more from the server, as it should. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Uh, hey. That's not bad, is it, really? That's not bad. It's not bad for a first, first try run. I would say it's gonna be super fast when it starts to grab stuff from multiple peers oh yeah, yeah. it'll be pretty and quick. definitely and um, the way that we're doing it now is as well is that we're going back uh, we're requesting every single message block mm-hmm and asking if it has it and then it says yes I have it okay can I get it etc right. etc yeah so there's a lot so, of extra stuff going on. Yeah, so typically yeah. what BranchCast should do, and especially in the V2, is that it should get all of the segment yeah. uh, data. Here you saw that it was some little data where it actually came in to get it again from the server. And yeah. so we're having a slight difficulty trimming in the, the local content transfer. Yeah, that's to be expected. Yeah, but once it's we... Tricky business go to start doing get the whole segment ideas we should be doing, doing a much much more efficient transfer yeah, yeah. It should be close to gig speed as it is mm. regular one. pretty good any questions when can we see the full working model I think once um, all of the serve side bits are more or less done so um, once we see the removal of the hard-coded peers, um, mm. which we've simulated using um, 
some tools, but we haven't actually written it into the. Um, but it should be um, probably within a day or two that we should have something that's runnable for enough for people to try that. So awesome! Yeah, and good. that will be the demo to watch. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. So yeah, and uh, to explain here, so you can see the machine standing at uh, 99 percent. Yes, that's when we're doing the uh, decryption of all of the downloaded data. Uh, yeah. As, uh, as well as to make sure that the MD5 some this is a debug build, so it does a lot of the extra checks to see. So typically the MD5 checksum that we do today is used to make sure that the branch cache checksums match what we think they should be. Yeah, so yeah. So that will be removed as well. So it's pretty secure. Yeah, but typically out of the box branch cache does that for you. But yes. we don't know if branch cache putting together the right thing for us. No. We have to check it. But it is um, coming through fine. All right. Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome.